He's home. Hello. Hello. It's me. Yeah. Well, you don't know how much I missed him. Good morning. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining through the trees. And we're just about to head out to get some breakfast down at the strip, down at the beach strip area thing, whatever you want to call it. And then once we've done that, I'm probably going to head off home and finish what I started doing yesterday. And then Ray's home tonight. Yay! How quiet this little life strip is. When it's not peak hour. Yeah, definitely. Nice little strip of shops. It's a cool little store. Loud noises be gone. I'm just driving home now. From the beach, it's been a very nice sort of night away. Yesterday was an amazing day, it's another amazing day today as well. I think I might stop in at Rye Pier actually and just take you for a bit of a wander around there. It's a little bit windier today than it was yesterday unfortunately. Funny how I noticed the wind more than any other type of weather now because it kind of dictates whether or not I can get my camera out. <laughs> it is kind of windy out here, we'll just see how we go I guess. I just want to show you how pretty it is. Look how pretty. Look at that sun glistening on the ocean. Someone windsurfing right there. I'm trying to at least. <laughs> All right, montage begin. Artistic shots. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that little uh, learn at the beach <laughs> montage for you. Now to drive home. Hi. Hey Max. Oh hello. You said Hi. hello. Did you have a good night? Yeah. You weren't too lonely. Good boy. Oh, it feels good to be home, and it feels good to be home in a semi-clean house as well. Although the vacuum's still in the place that I left it yesterday. Obviously, I don't know why I even thought it would be different that's where I left it and nobody else has been home so think Lauren use your brain that is what I have to do this afternoon finish it up Ugh! so I just got done editing yesterday's video and I'm uploading it now it's kind of late though it's like already the afternoon so I knew the video was gonna be late but what are you gonna do I was kind of planning on cleaning up the house a little bit more but I feel really tired because <laughs> I didn't really sleep last night so now all I really want to do is just sit down and chill out. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's gonna happen. Chill out like this guy. Look at this guy just chilling. Chilling like a villain. You excited to see dad? Yeah? The vacuum kind of conked out on me before I could finish the vacuuming entirely, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why it's not working, but anyway. Um, so I decided to try this uh, little robot vacuum thing. He's home! Hello! Hello! It's me. Yeah. Well, you'll know how much I missed him. And it. Alright, so as far as I know, all I have to do... That's not it. <laughs> uh... Clean. Uh. You do your thing. I don't know why, but I've always kind of been a bit freaked out by these robot vacuum things. But they're okay, but I, I don't know, I just freaks me out. How does it know what to do? I feel like it shouldn't be that smart. I'm definitely not going to be one of those people that buys those, you know, robot helper people because they will freak me out. What do you reckon? You think you're done? It's pretty clean. Let's go home. Home's over there. <laughs> Where are you going? Um, this isn't home. Where are you going? It is not home. You're completely going in the wrong direction. Stop! You're too good for your home. Go home. This is why I don't like them. They don't do what they're told. And then they start freaking me out because they're following me around. All right, you got this. You're here. Your home is there. You ready? Home. Nah, you stuffed it up. All righty, so on my way to pick up Ray. Hopefully I can find a place to park 
and then find him. <laughs> also a full moon tonight. Don't know what that means, but there you go. Melbourne is so pretty at night. Look at all those lights. With the moon in the sky, it's just all very, very pretty. We'll give it that. Melbourne does know how to make itself look good at night. Okay, so I made it to the car park. This is a good sign. I found my way to a car park. I was, I was even worried about being able to find the car park. So that's step one out of the way. I think his flight has probably only just landed or is maybe just about to land as well. So I'm a little bit early, but that's okay. He's still got to go through customs and stuff. But by the time I find where he'll be coming out, will probably be the time when he will be coming out. So it'll all work out. No matter what time of the day it is, morning, afternoon, or night, this place is always busy. It's always hectic. And I can never find out where I'm going. It's always so really frustrating. <laughs> so I think he's landed. I'm fairly sure he has. The only flight from Bangkok that's now landed. So yeah, and it landed early actually. I'm just waiting on a text message from him to say that he's here, but he hasn't texted yet. I'm assuming it's going to be about a 20 minute and a half an hour wait, but we'll see. He's home. Hello. Hello. It's me. Yeah. Well, you'll know how much I missed him. Tired. Had a long trip, long day. So hard being on holiday. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough work. I missed him. Glad to have you home. Yeah. Yay! I'm happy now. <laughs> He's home, and the first thing he does is this. Straight Hello. back to it. <laughs> you miss that computer more than you miss me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Max. You You're right, buddy. Did you get it caught around your neck? How did you do that? You're just crazy. Come here. Fully, right? It is. It's fully like tied around his neck. Choked you could have choked yourself. I love how he just walks into the room though. Just like a meow. Walking into the room like, help. <laughs> yeah? Did you miss dad? Did you miss him? I don't think you've even noticed that he's home. Next. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Come here. <laughs> Come here, what's this? Doesn't work like that. Come here. <laughs> don't yell at him. <laughs> it could even worse. Get here. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go over there. That guy's yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the crap out of him. <laughs> now he thinks you're playing. <laughs> He's so fast. He's like lightning. Gone like an instant from the camera. You need to wake up, buddy. You awake now? Okay. You happy to be home? Mm. Yeah? Mm hmm. <laughs> he looks happy, but he looks tired. <laughs> you don't want to open your eyes at all? <laughs> I'm sleeping. Okay. Do you want me to do it by myself then? Okay. The end. <laughs> Question of the day is where is the furthest place that you've ever gone away from home. Max, you interrupted me. Yes, you did. No, you be quiet. You look like such a lion right now. Yeah, you're a lion. Lion, lion on the bed. Rawr. Anyway, where is the furthest you've ever been away from home? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is where you are right now. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.